You're now tuning into the Who and How Club with your host, Eris Dejan. gentlemen it's your boy Aris Dejan welcome to the who and how club podcast and I am your creator and host uh, we're gonna try to be a bit lively and more alive and just hype today um, why is that you ask I don't know I think that I'm pretty happy at the fact that we have survived 25 episodes and today is the 26th so it's sort of like a transition you know, I feel like every 25 episodes, it's it'll be sort of like a milestone for the club and this movement that I created. So if you're a first time listener, I'm going to welcome you to the club and uh, I'll let you know on um, pretty much, you know, the different ways on how you could be a part of the club and join the club and uh, be a part of this movement. The who's and how's of the world uh, without you, without me, there is no we. So uh, we need each other. We need each other to survive, especially in this time that we're living in at the moment. Uh, We see what's going on in the world. And, um, you know, if there was any time in our life span or time to stay together and, you know, be together, be strong, et cetera, et cetera, this would be that time. And not to take away from past moments in history. We've always needed each other, in fact. Uh, I just feel that we have failed to realize that. And it takes a lot of turmoil, a lot of death, a lot of pain for people to realize how much we really need each other. So consider this just a friendly reminder. If you're not getting the reminders already through your your phones and your, your laptops and the news stations and the television and all of that, What all of this means is that we really need to stick together and get rid of this evil that exists and love conquers all. And we need to love each other, love ourselves first, most importantly, uh, because if I don't know how to love myself, I cannot love you. And uh, that shit is the truth. So we're going to just kick off the show. I'm checking in with all of you. Welcome to episode 26. Uh, You know. Like I mentioned, because this is episode 26, I feel like it's sort of like a new beginning for the show. Like I said, it's like a transition. One thing I want to focus on is uh, doing everything that I say (laughs) in every episode on the show. Because there have been some episodes where I've said that this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And, you know, some things might get in the way or like either I forget because I got so much going on um, and we don't get to, I guess, execute certain things. Uh, that have been mentioned on the show because every episode sometimes it feels like starting from scratch I go through so much in a week this is like my therapy if I did this every day I think it would be much easier to keep up with everything because at least I'd remember what I have said um, (laughs) to all of you lovely listeners boys and girls ladies and gentlemen um, people of the world regardless uh, us moving into this 26th you know, the next 25 episodes, which will get us up to 50. And that's that'll definitely be a milestone, a huge milestone for us. Um, the, we're going to we're going to have the episodes, you know, more more structured and we're going to focus more and make sure that everything that is said on this show happens. And you all are reminded of the purpose behind this show, especially those who are listening in for the first time. Um, you know, the show focuses on who you are and how you became who you are. Hence the title, uh, you know, or the name who and how the who and how club we are the who's and how's of the world. And it's hard for me not to say it that way. Like I'm some sort of pimp or <laughs> with this little twang. Uh, but we are the who's and how's of the world. And I truly believe that. And we make the world go round, but we don't take enough time to just sit and speak with one another and share our stories or our experiences. We don't share pieces of who we are with each other 
uh, enough. And this is my opinion. Um, I do believe that we need to reflect and pick apart who we are so that we can figure out how we're transitioning in this thing called life. We share this thing called life. You know what I mean? So we're all living this thing, this similar thing, this familiar thing called life, but we're experiencing it in different ways. So let's share those stories. Let's share those experiences with one another so we can learn from each other. You know what I mean? And hopefully when you listen to the show, you learn pieces of me as well. Um, So yeah, Uh, it is 10.40 p.m. on Wednesday. It is June 10th. I'm sitting in the dark. I got my candles lit, so it's not really, you know, it's not fully dark, but I'm in the zone. This is my zone. Um, I got baby boy Apollo for those who don't know that's my puppy and he tends to make a lot of noise when he knows I'm doing the podcast so if you hear some noise in the background you know that's him uh, but he is uh, he, he's he's been keeping me really grounded I love this guy I love this little guy um, I don't know man I don't know what I, I can't picture a life without him now you know what I mean my li- I'm I am a I have a puppy a dog and he is a part of my life and a part of the family now you know so it's hard to envision a life without them once they once you're already so once you've accepted the fact that you know this is your responsibility now and this is another life in your hands and you got to take care of it him um so shout out to apollo who is ripping up his pads right now um but you know that's what he does uh what else do we need to talk about okay so i love the ambiance and the setting right now it is raining outside i don't know if any of you could hear the rain or the water hitting my window pane but uh it's dripping out there i saw someone announce something online saying that there was a report that toronto is facing some sort of uh, tornado or something like that i don't know let me look this up quickly uh and i the tornado in Toronto. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Toronto warnings ended. Severe risk continues in southern Ontario. So severe weather threat in south uh, southwestern Ontario on Wednesday. Okay, so we've just been having some crazy thunderstorms. Uh, where we're at right now, um, and the wind has been hitting a bit aggressively but we're okay i think things have actually died down now um so we're good but for those who know me i love the rain i love when it's sort of like dark and windy and you know i i really like i like being out in it i like driving in this type of weather uh it just makes me feel you know it's like art it just like sets a tone and uh, I look at the world very differently when the weather is like this. The city looks different. The sky, you know, the, just the feeling in the air it just feels really cool. It doesn't feel dark. It doesn't feel negative. Uh, I like the rain. So uh, let me know what your favorite weather is or, or type of weather or time of the year if you'd like. Um, you know, you could always reach the Who and How Club uh, and me, of course, on Instagram at Who How Club. Um, or at only one Eris, O N L Y, the number one, A R Y S. And uh, you could always email us as well, whohowclub at gmail.com. Go to the website, whohowclub.com, and uh, you could figure out other ways to keep in touch and stuff like that. You could read our blog, um, you could also watch all the visual episodes. Um, I usually have a guest on the show every other week, so those episodes get uh, visualized let's say, and put together uh, for your viewing. But the episodes in between where it's just me, I don't really do the visuals. I like to just stay audio and, you know, just be in my zone. Like, I don't even have, I'm just sitting here in shorts right now I'm at home and I'm comfortable. So there's no need to put that on the visuals and uh, put that on camera. No one wants to see that, right? Um, I want to just send a special shout out to the world right now um, and all the protests and everything going on in the world. We know. Like I mentioned, uh, there's been a lot of tragedy, um, but fortunately, you know, the silver lining uh, in that is that, you know, it's bringing people together and people are standing up for their rights and bonding and building bridges through this. So however you decide to protest, I want to I want to make this clear that protesting doesn't necessarily have to mean you got to go out and 
march uh you don't have to do what everybody's doing you don't have to feel bad either for not protesting the way others are um protesting you could protest in your own way in your own personal way within your own home uh there are many ways and you can be creative in that and uh just figure out what works for you please be reminded that even though this is a tragic situation and these are tragic situations um even for peaceful protests you know there there's a lot of anger a lot of angry energy people are upset right now people are sad um, and a lot can happen when you have big groups of people who are upset, angry, uh, and sad. And their feelings are warranted. Very valid. Very valid. Uh, but you have to protect your energy at the same time and be aware that, you know, uh, if that's something you want to involve yourself with, it, 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 there is a risk that comes with that. Protect your energy. Uh, protect those around you. Uh, find creative ways to protest. You don't have to feel bad for not being out there in the physical um i want to shout out john boyega for his uh his uh you know stance on everything and how he has been reacting to all of this um you know where he's from and just standing up for black people and everything like that it's cool really cool to see artists um you know regardless of the field you know actors musicians etc like he you know, he he expressed that, you know, he felt like he's probably not even going to work after something like this for being outspoken. And that's to even feel that way, to know that that's a possibility is really sad that you can't stand up for what you believe in um, without you know, your, your employment, your, your bread and butter um, or without being judged and stuff like that. But he's standing up for the right reasons. And I appreciate that. I don't want to shout him out. Um, very emotional stuff. It's hard to not watch these things that it, that's going on in the world right now um, and not feel anything and not cry, not shed a tear for people, especially our people. So shout out to everybody in the world. I continue to protest in my own personal way, and I pray. I pray every day for the world. I pray every day, every day for our people. Um and hopefully that oh, hopefully out of all of this turmoil, you know, the world will heal and adjust. A lot of things need to change and it's about time. And I'm sure all of you folks who are listening in agree on that. So um you know, this episode I want to focus on uh making room for new. That's our theme for this episode today. Um, and going forward, I want to stick with this theme uh, of making room for new. Um, you know, I've been going through a lot lately, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's me being real honest and transparent with all of you. Um, and just because I'm going through a lot doesn't necessarily mean it's all negative, doesn't mean it's all positive. But I'm definitely going through a transition in my life. I've been going through a transition I am currently happy, but I have happy moments. And then there are moments where I'm reflecting and I'm realizing that, you know, there are things that I would like to change, not only about myself personally, but my surroundings, um, my behaviors, my past behaviors. Um, these are the things that I've just been acknowledging and reflecting on. And uh, the past few months have been, you know, healthy very healthy. I think one of the healthiest stages in my life because I'm truly addressing things that I don't like anymore. You know, I don't things that I don't like about myself, maybe, or, you know, forgiving myself for certain things that I've done, whether it's to harm myself or others. And just, you know, sometimes we hurt people without knowing. And uh, sometimes we hurt people when knowing, while knowing. And we don't care. We have these selfish phases in our lives and uh, we're sort of like a bulldozer where we're just running through everything and we don't care who we hit, who we take down. It's just all about us, you know. Um, but those are things that I'm aiming to uh, and have aimed to and dedicated my life, my current life and stage of life that I'm in at the moment to getting rid of. So with that said, I want you to do the exact same thing. I want us to focus together on making room for new. Now, there's no way to make room for new when you still have old stuff 
sitting in the room. Whether it be old relationships, friendships, family ships. And these are things that might fit under the unhealthy category, right? Yes, we all have a family. We all come from somewhere. But maybe that family ship that you have is a toxic one. And you just can't seem to get away from it because you feel that you're bound to your family. You're bound to that family member, that person that, you know, might have, that you might have come from that person. It could be your mother, your father, someone who raised you. Maybe they've played their role in your life and now, you know, their role has sort of run out. The engine has run out. Gas has run out. Fuel has run out. And the relationship just isn't the same anymore. You know, it's okay to move forward without that person. But some of us, we're afraid. We think that we have to stay stuck. You've been friends with someone since, you know, kindergarten. You grew up with them. But at some somewhere down the line, things really change. Their relationship with them has changed. But you're stuck with them because you feel like just because you've known them for so long, you got to keep them around. How will you make new friends if you you don't make room for new you crave you 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 yearn healthy relationships healthy family ships healthy friendships but you're stuck with the old stuff the toxic stuff the unhealthy stuff you got to make room for new so the saying you know the saying out with the old in with the new let's look up the origin of that saying because i don't even know who invented that? Who came up with that? Uh, where from? Let's look that up together as a team here. Yeah? As a club. <laughs> Out with the old. Out with the old, in with the new means to leave old things or ideas behind and start fresh with new things or ideas. People usually say this at the beginning of a new year or at the beginning of something new. Now, who wouldn't want to experience something new? Uh, let's see if it comes from anywhere. Somewhere specific or someone specific. I don't know. I got to look it up. Uh, I don't know if who can we site for this uh let me see here who created this idiom who came up with it i'm gonna have to look this up i can't find it doesn't seem like it comes from anyone specific it's just one of those old ass sayings and i see a list of old sayings here so maybe on each episode we'll cover an old saying but regardless the episode today's episode and the episodes going forward will focus on Letting go of the old and making room for new, new ideas, new people, new experiences, new jobs, new opportunities career wise, new artistic endeavors, new circles, new money, new cars, new houses. Yes, I'm saying plural houses. <laughs> We're going to get rid of the old together and make some room for the new. So. You know, today's part one, we're going to go step by step and do this together. And I want everyone to really do this together. I'm going to be doing the same thing. And every seven days, we're going to touch base on this. And we're going to see where we're at with letting things go. So step one, the first thing that I want you to do in, in, in this process, I want you to start writing down some of the things that you want to let go of. Just anything. This is step one. This is the base. This is the foundation of letting go. We need to identify the things that we want to let go. Now, remember, there are many categories in this. There are behaviors that we might want to let go of. There are some people that we might want to let go of. There are some physical belongings we might want to let go of. Possessions. Things that we've been holding on to. Things that might have an energy attached to them. And we know this, but because there's some sentimental value or it, may, it might come from somewhere or someone, you want to hold on to it. You can't let go. No. 
from June 10th, mark my words, June 10th, 2020, this episode, episode 26 of the Who and How Club podcast, we are letting go. Especially the things that don't belong to us anymore. You're new. You got to grow, right? You're transitioning. Let your wings spread. But how can they spread when they're locked by things from the past? Things that shouldn't even be here anymore. So step one in letting go and making room for new is writing the things down that you've identified that you want to let go of. That you want to get rid of. I'm telling you, there are some behaviors of mine, some selfish behaviors of mine that I really want to let go of. There was a time where I put myself before others, and it's all because I used to put others before myself. So I retaliated and I said, oh, fuck everyone. Let me put me first. You know what I mean? Uh, But not knowing that that also caused a lot of damage. Some knowing, some unknowing. Now, the goal is to find a healthy balance where you always put yourself first, but you could put others first as well. You can take care of people. You know, you could put people in front of you in moments, but you shouldn't dedicate your life to putting people in front of you. You do come first. Your well-being, your mental health come first. But you also have to find some sort of compassion and care and time for others. And that's not a bad thing. I I, I was too far left at one point in my life. Then I, I went too far right. Now the goal is to find a healthy balance. So that's just an example of a behavior. A selfish behavior that I'm letting go of. There's a good selfish and a bad selfish. I was definitely a bad selfish But I'm comfortable with saying that because I've acknowledged my behaviors. And that's something I'm letting go of because guess what? I'm ready to be more selfless. In my career, in my life, I'm a pretty selfless person. But when it comes to relationships, intimate relationships, romantic relationships, I've been very uh, selfish, personally selfish, negatively selfish. And I've hurt some women. And, uh, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt others. So that is a great example of something that I'm going to be writing down, focusing on, and writing a list of things that I want to let go of. Think of behaviors. Think of people. Think of your current relationships, friendships, the things you possess in your household, in your apartment, in your house. Look around. Really study and acknowledge where things have come from. Think about yourself, why you're acting the way that you're acting, why you've acted that way for so long. Think about the people that you've kept in your life for so long. Ask yourself, why have I kept this person around? What is it about this person or these people or this relationship that I just won't let go of? Think about these things. Start writing them down and focus on You know, just those things. Just acknowledge those things. Reflect on those things. We're going to get rid of the old first. We're going to focus so much on the old that you're going to get sick of it. You're going to get sick of that old. You're going to throw up. You're going to vomit every time you think of those things that you want to let go of. But you're not going to do anything with the paper. You're not going to do anything with them yet other than write them down. Identify them. Sorry. Step one, identify them. Step two, write them down. Step three, I want you to reflect on those things. And then next week, seven days from now, we're going to go to step to the next step uh, or next phase, so to speak, on letting these things go. All right. So make room for new. This is the theme starting from episode 26. And we're going to stick with this right now. And we're going to transition into a butterfly together. How does that sound? All right, it's that time for a little good food promo. It's the beginning of June. So are you ready to uh, try out some new recipes? Um, I could hook you up if you are. Try Canada's number one meal kit. Get farm fresh ingredients to cook delicious recipes delivered for free to your doorstep. If you use my promo code, ARIS45, you could get $45 off of your uh, first box. 
And uh, if you just send me your email, I could add you to my list and you could actually start off with some free boxes to test the services out. Now, I use good food. I've been learning a lot of brand new recipes. Uh, my box came this week. I've mentioned this before. My favorite is their vegetarian chili. Um, even though it's vegetarian, I'll actually, uh, you know, get some chicken thighs or chicken breasts and I'll fry them up. I'm sorry, or bake them or whatever, season them up, chop them up and put it in the chili because I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. I'm more of a chicken and fish kind of guy. And I'm kind of slowly moving off of chicken. But we'll talk about that on another day. Uh, but go to makegoodfood.ca to learn more about good food, especially if you're a creative. Creatives need to eat healthy, man. So let's promote eating healthy and actually cooking. If you got someone to uh, test this out with, well, your beau or uh, your, your lady, uh, and you want to cook for someone special, you know, try good food. They'll send you the recipes with the breakdown on what you need, um, how you're going to make the meals, and they got meals on meals all right many selections um so holla at me if you want a free box i'll put you on my list and i could send you a free box uh, so send me your email either through our email address who how club at gmail.com or just send me a dm and i'll add you to my list i'm looking for 10 people for the month of june to give away some free boxes all right um, if you don't want to try it out and you're just ready to start with good food, use promo code ARIS45, A-R-Y-S, numbers 45, and you'll get $45 off of your first order. Um, yeah, let's get back to the show. Now, there's a lot of lightning, a lot of lightning striking tonight, and I like it. It sets the tone. Good energy. Um... I mentioned last episode that uh, we shot the music video for 2019 Flow, which is a song that I released. Uh, for those who don't know and listening in, I'm not just a podcaster. I'm an artist as well. I record music. I'm a rapper. I'm a poet. I do a little bit of dancing. I model and all that jazz. I'm just a creator. That's how I like to label myself and define myself as. I'm a son, a grandson, a nephew, a cousin, uh, a big brother, um, and a creator. I'm a hard worker. And uh, I just love life and I love to create. So aside from creating this movement and expressing myself through podcast form, I also express myself and share pieces of my story and my life through music. So I released a song called 2019 Flow, which is was, which was a, a track that I had recorded last week. It was sort of in, I mean, not last week, sorry, in 2019. It was in, I released it, I released it. Shout out a little music video. Shout out to Manolo. Uh, we shot the visuals with Dante and uh k uh homegirl k she's in the video as well so that music video i got off the phone with nolo last night just going over some last minute stuff and that video is set to drop next week so i'm really excited for all of you to see the visuals to this it'll sort of be like my first official music video and uh i'm just excited to blow up and just to stay busy and you know just keep creating and sharing pieces of my life through my art um, and I hope to inspire someone, you know, if you're listening to this, pursue, 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 pursue um, and get creative. Just create, man. Don't worry about them. Don't worry what, about what people think. Um, yeah, just do you just be in your creative mode. Um, if you're so worried about what other people are thinking about you, you know, you shouldn't even. Don't worry about what people are thinking, because if they're spending time thinking about you and you're worried about that, they're, they're not even thinking about themselves. You know, people have an opinion about you, but what are their opinions of themselves? They're so focused on you. <laughs> Imagine how they think of themselves. Maybe they're living vicariously through you and, and that could come out as hate sometimes, you know, like don't even worry what, about what people do. Just create, just be in your zone and in your element and happiness will come from that i truly believe that it's helped me and uh i'm at, i'm in my most creative space right now and i have to thank the gods and the universe and the supporters for that um so thank you all for everyone supporting the track 2019 flow you can catch that on all streaming services um and the music video will be dropping next week so i'm excited for that um i shouted out dante dante is my homeboy uh, he's been getting me back into skateboarding because um, I used to skateboard as a kid and I would say I was pretty good. I'm not saying I knew tricks and all of that, but I was good on the board. Now I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a bit rusty. I cannot lie. 
Uh, we got some skateboarding happening in the music video, actually. But him and I have been going out just skateboarding, and it just feels very freeing, you know, just to feel the breeze as you're on the board. But uh, I'm just pushing myself to get back into it, and he skateboards. So does Kay. Um, and her and I have gone skateboarding as well, so I don't know. This is just a thing. It feels good. I'd rather skateboard than be on a bike, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you'll see some of that in the music video. Shout out Dante. Shout out Kay. Shout out Manolo, who's the director. Um, I also mentioned uh, last week or last episode my article in Preferred Magazine. So look up Preferred Magazine online, and you'll see my Grow Before You Go uh, article that I wrote. And to be honest with you, uh, it kind of connects with, it, it connects with what I'm talking about today and this theme of this episode, the make room for new, uh, theme. So look out for, or have, a, have a read, uh, of my grow before you go article on preferred magazine and shout out to them and shout out to Risa who helped me, uh, uh, you know, get this article on there. Um, lastly, the who and how club, uh, have been selected for this year's TO Web Fest. Uh, in, in all honesty, I still don't know what that fully means. I'm waiting for some more details, but we've been selected out of 10. Uh, we're one out of 10. So um, there are 10 podcasts in total that were chosen. I think I made a mistake and said 11 last show, but 10 in total. So we're one of the one of the 10 podcasts that have been selected. And with this whole COVID thing, you know, I, the, the festival this year will be online. Um, so I'm just waiting on updates and all of that. I sent them my promo materials, which they're going to be, uh, you know, sending out and start pushing. So look up TO Web Fest online, follow them um, and follow uh, IWCC as well. I'm a member of the Independent Web Creators of Canada uh, Club as well. So, yeah, they're all connected and you can look them up and yeah. Shout out to them, you know, the show is is growing and I want to say thank you to all of you who have been supporting the movement. Um, so with that said, remember to make room for new. You're going to focus on the things you want to let go of, um, but you're going to write them down first. You're going to reflect on those things and make sure you identify them. They could be behaviors. They could be people, physical objects, the objects even. It could be a job. It could be a car. It could be. You know, just uh, an idea, a way of life that you've been living and you're just ready to let go of it. We're going to get to the whole implementation aspect, but let's focus on the things you want to let go of first. Start with the old and we're going to end up with new. All right. This has been the who and how club. You are the who. I am the how. (laughs) Oh, my God. I can never get this right. We are the who's and how's of the world. Let me try that again. Uh, without you, without me, there is no we. And uh, we are the who's and how's of this world. So let's continue to support one another and love each other. Um, and just uh, just live life. Live a healthy life. I'm praying for the world. Pray with me, y'all. We'll get through this together. All right? I'll talk to you in seven days. One. Mm-hmm.